U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Wednesday released the State Department's report on international religious freedom. Blinken also announced a visa ban on a Chinese official and his family for persecuting practitioners of the spiritual discipline Falun Gong. The State Department reports annually on religious freedom around the world. Secretary Antony Blinken hit on several key countries, including China. And China uh, broadly criminalizes religious expression and continues to commit crimes against humanity and genocide against Muslim Uyghurs and members of other religious and ethnic minority groups. The report's China section is 136 pages. It details China's persecution of a range of religions, including the spiritual practice Falun Gong. Blinken announced new sanctions on a Chinese official who previously headed Chengdu's 610 office. That's the communist regime's agency solely dedicated to persecuting Falun Gong practitioners. Today, I'm announcing the designation of Yu Wei, former office director of the so-called Central Leading Group Preventing and Dealing with Heretical Religions of Chengdu, for his involvement in gross violations of human rights, namely the arbitrary detention of Falun Gong practitioners. Yu Hui and his family can no longer enter the United States. Former ambassador at large for international religious freedom, Sam Brownback says this sends a strong signal to China. It sends them the signal that uh, we're not going to let them get away with this war on faith. I think this sends a strong signal to those uh, CCP officials in China that the persecution of Falun Gong is not only illegal, it will be penalized uh, internationally and the international society is watching. The State Department cites data from Minghui, a U.S.-based website dedicated to reporting on this persecution. The government report says Chinese police arrested over 6,600 Falun Gong practitioners and harassed more than 8,500 practitioners in 2020 for refusing to renounce their faith. Compared with 2019, which saw over 6,100 arrested and 3,500 harassed, 83 individuals also died due to persecution. The report also quotes some NGO reports on organ harvesting in China, including the China Tribunal's judgment after an independent inquiry. The tribunal documented evidence of what they concluded is a decades-long and ongoing state-run program of forced organ harvesting from prisoners of conscience, mainly Falun Gong practitioners. Now we've got credible findings by other entities of organ harvesting happening to Falun Gong members. And these, is, these are by outside groups that have reviewed the evidence and said, yes, this is taking place. The U.S. has designated China a country of particular concern since 1999 under the International Religious Freedom Act for having engaged in or tolerated particularly severe violations of religious freedom.